Hi, I'm Reese Jones, and today I'm doing a video on lucid dreaming. Uh, I just finished my series on beating addiction. Uh, thought I'd move away from that now and go back to the subjects of lucid dreaming. Um, first of all, I want to talk about a couple of weird dreams I've had recently. One of them has been um, me sitting around with a group of my friends. And I wasn't lucid at this point, but yet I was talking to them about lucid dreaming, my experiences with lucid dreaming, how they're coming along, etc, etc. And I thought this was really weird how the brain was questioning the prospects of being lucid in this dream and even going as far as talking about being lucid in a dream, yet nothing clicked for me to actually become lucid. And that was quite weird. Um, I didn't know if anyone else has experienced these kind of dreams before. Or if it's something unique to me. Um, I've never read about it or anything. So I was just wondering you know, what people's thoughts are on it and stuff. Um, another dream I've been having is like a dream figure comes to me. And he'll take me by the hand. And he'll like bring me off somewhere. And he'll bring me into like a place that... A, a room that looks like a classroom. And he'll proceed to sit me down. And teach me um, techniques and new ways to heighten and prolong my lucid dreaming experiences. <laughs> now this is really strange, isn't it? Because again, I wasn't lucid in this. Um, now I see this as thoughts, that, thoughts and information that I was previously very much aware of that was in my conscious waking mind that over the years as I got like into the drugs and the booze was then filtered out and put into my subconscious. Now I'm off the drugs and booze again, and I'm getting back into lucid dreaming. I see this dream figure as some sort of branching light from my subconscious to my conscious that is reintegrating my thoughts from my subconscious back into my conscious mind. Because let's be honest, you never forget anything. They're just put in different boxes in your brain over time in regards to how important they are to you at that moment in your life. So now these, uh, the, this information is now again important to me. They're being reintegrated back into conscious memory. And that is fascinating, absolutely fascinating. I can't believe that the brain works in such intricate ways. It really does fascinate me. And in a way I was also wondering if, in a way this is kind of a level of lucidity in itself. Um... You know, I was thinking, this might sound a bit cheesy, but I was thinking of calling this Layer Zero. Because if you've watched my previous video on lucid dreaming, you'll know um, you'll know about me talking about, you know, the five layers of a lucid dream and all that. So I thought Layer Zero would kind of sum it up nicely. Because it's, it's kind of saying, yeah, it's, it's not um, proper lucidity, or you, you're not actually conscious that you're dreaming, but your brain's still playing around with the idea and the prospects of being lucid. So isn't that in itself a layer of lucidity? I think it is. So I'm going to name that layer zero. So it doesn't affect my previous video, so I've st I still stick to the whole five layers in a lucid dream. But I'm going to inject that little other idea into it. Um, I don't know what people think about that, if I'm just being stupid. Is it really a layer of lucidity or am I being stupid? I want some feedback on this. And just some, you know, opinions on, on what these dreams mean. And do you think the way I evaluated my um, teacher dreams, is that right? Am I, you know, am I analysing that right? Or do you think they're saying more to it? I want some feedback. Um, I was planning to go into a few more things, but what I think I'm going to do is leave it for today. Leave it at that. Get some feedback, get some thoughts, get this video up so people know I'm still posting videos. And then tomorrow I'm going to start talking talking about techniques that work for me. Techniques that have been really, really working for me well over the last few months uh, with getting back into the lucid dream thing. you know. Um, and they have worked really well because uh, without meaning to sound like I'm bragging or anything, <laughs> I'm, I've now got back to the point where I'm having some layer of lucidity each night and oh I'm so so happy that I'm back to that point and I can actually look forward to going to sleep again 
Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not having like layer fours or layer fives every night. I'll probably have him about one or two a week of them. But I'm reaching some form of lucidity each night. And the reason being is because of the strict, harsh uh, techniques I, I've kind of got myself. And I've got myself into this very strict regime of doing reality checks, keeping a dream journal, working out my dream signs, etc, etc. And I'm going to go all into that tomorrow. So tune back. Catch you later.